29th. Wait, how do you do it? Yeah. I was just, I thought you pull it and then it goes. Take two, take two. Yeah. We, we closed. closed. What's going on guys? So uh, we are going to make this a lot quicker than usual. We were going to show you guys a lot of stuff behind the scenes, but this is the place that we bought and it is not done yet, but with a little magic, it could all be done ready in three, two, one. There we go. So this is it completed right now. It's taken me a couple of days to actually film this. This is why I look differently, but you understand why. Uh, so yeah, this is my, uh, Oh, this is my blue pup and um, if you can please subscribe to him because he deserves it if you can't subscribe but this is the house uh, it's not done yet I just could not wait any longer we're gonna be switching a lot of the furniture we're gonna have a little fireplace back there we are gonna have a big old TV back there so that we can watch some TV so all right so the agenda today is my friend has a show today so one of my clients uh, has been competing uh, this is his first show and he's doing a 14 week prep and today is the day for the show. So the best thing to do is let's get on over there. So right now we are on our way right now. Uh, I don't know the name of the show. I want to say it's the Grand Prix in South Florida. Um, I think I'm not too sure on the show, but let's go meet my friend. Let's go on over there. But first we got to go to Boynton Beach, which is about an hour away. Here we come. Yes, so good morning, everyone. Uh, so we, we did just buy a place. So what we decided to do is something a little different. We decided to buy a place, um, very small place, in pretty much the heart of Fort Lauderdale, which is what we wanted. And um, we plan on only really being here about a year, two years, um, paying it off by that time. And um, then maybe deciding where we want to go. We don't know if we want to stay in Florida. Um, but I know this is rent, this is a rental property that we could rent out later on in the future. Um, we just have to live in it. So uh, yeah, we're gonna be in this uh, beautiful little luxurious little uh, condo. But um, yeah, we really only plan on staying there for about a year or two years, and then we will go ahead and rent it out. It'll be paid for. Uh, we don't like debt, but uh, this was an opportunity we could not pass. And <laughs> my dog's peeing, so. Uh, they have a little dog park, the beach is like right here. Uh, so it's exactly what we wanted. But man, it's been a long journey. So last week I did my uh, my competition. I placed fourth out of a good little, good lineup of people. And now I have a client competing in a different one. So we're gonna head to Boynton Beach, take a look at my client. And then we're gonna take, we're gonna take you to, we're gonna take you through a uh, quad workout. So my legs for me are the best part about me. They get more conditioned and they get uh, more density and more symmetry than anything else. So I'm gonna teach you uh, what I do for my leg day. And uh, if you guys like this video, head on to the, the subscribe button. Please hit that subscribe button. Please smash that thumbs up. Helps out tremendously a lot, more than you'd ever think. So, but now let's go get in the car and go to Boynton Beach. All right, we are here in Boynton Beach now. And um, so my client is inside already. He's got here about an hour ago. Uh, Pre-judging starts in about 45 minutes. I'm really excited to see him. Uh, he's been dieting very well. He started at um, 14, 14, 15 weeks ago, I think. Um, you should not die at anything below that. That's it's just way too hard on the body, hard on the metabolism. You don't want to bounce back and balloon back up. So you want to go in small increments downward, which is good, which is what you want. So I'm really excited to see him flourish. Uh, he's doing physique, he's weighing in at 213.8, I think, so he's coming in about, honestly, almost 20 pounds heavier than me. Uh, he came in at 180, he came in at yeah, 25 pounds heavier than me, almost. So I'm really excited to see him, you're going to see him in just a second. Uh, I wanted to touch on a coach. Uh, coaches should always go to the, meet, the shows that you're doing, no matter where it is, uh, whether it's in Los Angeles or whether it's in Las Vegas, it doesn't matter. 
Um, the coaches support you in everything that you do. So you've been with him and he should be with you. So watch him out. Okay, so um, couldn't go to the show because I did not have the cash for it. I thought I did, uh, but instead of having, again, $90 I thought I had, that I thought I had, I had actually $9. So that there were zeros behind those ones. So I couldn't go, unfortunately, if it was really bad. But now I'm at the gym. I'm going to show you guys the squat work, or the squat work, the leg workout that I'm going to do. Have you guys join in, but we're going to switch it to uh, kind of a voiceover so that I don't get dinged for the copyright of the music. So show you guys a leg workout. What's going on, guys? So we are going to take you through a voiceover for our workout. So what you're going to see here is my quad day. Uh, I do separate my quads and my hamstrings on two different days. However, I hit them both on the same day, if that makes sense. Uh, right here, you're going to see we're going to warm up with some light weight. If you can see, I'm doing about 40 pounds. I'm really focusing on the contraction. If you see my hands on my quads, you're going to see that I, I, I kind of like to feel my legs contracting. And then uh, we're going to superset that with uh, these right here. I'm not sure what they're called. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I had a, a voice or a voice over happening and my ballers uh, TV show came on. But here you're going to see that I'm not going to go all the way up. I am holding dumbbells uh, and it's going to be a partial set, but we're going to move quickly from this exercise to uh, this one right here. Again, we're really trying to focus on just making sure that we have enough blood in our quads right now. A lot of people tend to kind of skip uh, the warm up phase on this. I don't stretch because it kind of makes you weaker. I usually like to come in for doing legs and just kind of warming them up a little bit before we get into the heavy squats or the hack squats or leg press or anything like that. So we really got to be careful on how we do these. Uh, so if you can see that I'm uh, stretching all the way down and then at the top I contract very heavily and then I go back into my other ones. So we'll do about four sets of those and then we're going to go into the regular squat. This is the first set that I like to do. I don't like to start out with uh, one plate. I'm already warmed up enough and I have enough blood inside of my muscle cavity to actually push some good weight. So this is my first set. I'll do about six sets of these and I'll try to hit anywhere between 12 to 15. I will go up to about 350 on my last set and I'll try to hit that about anywhere between eight and 12, just depends. After we get done with the squats, uh, I'm not gonna make you see the entire thing. Um, you know, I don't want you to get bored. So on this, uh, we're going to be doing the hack squat. This is where you're kind of leaning on a machine and I again I start off with two plates I don't like to start off with one and I do usually go up to about four or five plates if I'm feeling good however I just got done with my show last weekend so I don't want to really push it uh, I do have some carbs in me right now we're floating around 375 carbs um, and about 425 on leg day so I, I'm not really refeeding too much here but we are uh, having some carbs inside of my system so I don't want to push it I'm going to take the next about four weeks and kind of moderate myself and keep a, anywhere between 375 to about 425 carbs. My protein is up around uh, 235, 240 right now. And then on rest days, I'll cut my carbs in half. So as you see here, I started off very light, just two plates. Then I ended up going to five plates. However, you don't really see that in this video. I don't want you guys to get bored. But after we get done with uh, these movements, we're going to move on to a movement that a lot of guys tend to skip and not really do. And you can really see the difference on the guys on stage who don't really focus on the details on their quads, on their legs. So we're going to do adductors and abductors. Uh, this helps with the detailing. This helps with the side swoop on your hamstring. This also helps connect the glute and also your hamstring, your side hamstring, really your IT bands. And we're really trying to separate uh, the quadriceps and also the, the hamstrings. When you have that line really there, that's when you start to get into small and minute details that usually when it shows, those are the things that the judges look at. So we'll quickly go into the reverse from abductor to abductor, and we'll usually stick anywhere between 20 to about 25. I can push the whole rack, and I'm sure many of you guys can too, um, but it's not really trying to focus on moving the weight, but really contracting the muscle cavity and also squeezing and making sure that you're stretching the muscle cavity as well. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you guys can, please subscribe. Please hit that thumbs up. Let me know down below on uh, what you thought of this video and what you're doing today for working out. Thanks for so much for watching, guys. I will see you guys next week. Bye, guys.